This is our yoga platform. Exercising rings. Succulent garden with our one rose. Solar panel. Homemade cob, AKA the empanada. Hi, Julia. Welcome to the yard. Come on in. I'll give you a little tour. This is our 20 foot yard that we built about a year ago so that we could live here on Commune Topanga. The, of course, most important recent addition are the sleeping kittens. No yurt should be without at least two. And then I would say our second favorite, my second favorite is the dream catcher Julia made. Very nice. Um, we also have these really beautiful custom-built curved countertops that a friend of ours who's a really talented wood make, uh, woodworker made for us because the more you can have things curved in a yurt, the more space you have. Um, a question we get a lot is what do we do for power since we're off-grid? We have a thousand watt battery uh, as well as a solar panel on the roof and that seems to do a pretty good job. Um, for our refrigeration, we have a high-end cooler and then we built for plumbing a foot pump sink. So we store water in here and then no turning any faucets. You just pump with your foot. And then this is the bonus, the magnetic soap holder with Corona cap. And then once the water is off your hands, it's actually going into this uh, gray water tank which we use to water our little cactus garden. We have a propane stove and a little oven. We also have a propane heater for when it gets cold in here. And then out back, we have a shed. We couldn't quite fit everything, the camping gear, the climbing gear, the honey processing, but most importantly, we have the composting toilet. Someday we will build a structure around it, but for now we have a very nice view of this old oak tree.